now and let's spread that love. Well, <clears throat> unity has been the lifelong foundation of Janet's spiritual practice, teaching and speaking. Janet works in the healthcare field as a practitioner and feels interconnected with the living world and beyond. And Edith, our musician today, has a sacred talent for opening hearts with her deeply moving lyrics and enchanting melodies and voice. Her secret? Tapping into her divine essence and composing songs specifically for us. So let's relax now and listen as Edith sings us into meditation. Take it away, Edith. There's so much beauty in this beautiful body. There's so much beauty in this beautiful body. There's so much beauty in this beautiful body. I'm at peace in my own skin. I'm a river of love that keeps on flowing from a little lost creek I find I'm growing and in the tumble and toss I wake up knowing I'm at peace in my own skin Oh there's so much beauty in this beautiful Body. There's so much beauty in this beautiful body. There's so much beauty in this beautiful body. I'm at peace in my own skin. And the mirror of life says, keep on. spark a fire is blazing i'm at peace in my own skin oh there's so much beauty in this beautiful body there's so much beauty in this beautiful body there's so much beauty in this beautiful body i'm at peace in my own Sorrow, joy, a promise keeping, catch the rush of one heart beating, toes to the edge, I was made for leaping it, peace in my own skin. There's so much beauty in this beautiful body, there's so much beauty in this beautiful body. There's so much beauty in this beautiful body. I am at peace in my own skin. I am at peace in my own skin. begin by sitting quietly and bringing awareness to this body. There is such beauty as we sit in this beautiful body. As best you can in this moment, relax each muscle 
as you bring awareness to it. And in particular, bringing awareness to your heart area and see the emotions that are present and smile and watch what happens. We are all gathered here today to join each other on this precious, sacred day of life. May the presence of the healing balm of pure love be with you now in this moment. And from deep within the silent place inside of you, a voice is heard, loving words echoing in your mind. I am without beginning or end. I am free to experience life any way I choose. My consciousness is not bound by time or space. I am part of the vast unified wholeness. We set these healing tones now. We breathe into this now. Breathing in, breathing out, and allowing the next breath to arrive. God is the healing breath. God is the healing thought. And God is the healing energy. Breathing easily and effortlessly. Aware of all that is in this oneness, in this space. We are filled with joyful expectancy, the day unfolding in glorious splendor, allowing this beauty to infuse your thoughts now. We have entered into a sacred time of prayer you are the light in the world. And let this time of meditation be dedicated to the light that sets souls free to be who they are. We go in to the silence with this affirmation. I am infused with the peace and strength of God. The peace of God is like heaven in my soul, infusing every aspect of my life, my reality. This peace and strength I experience now, radiating from me and responding with grace and ease. I am relaxed completely. And we go into the silence once more with this affirmation. God is my constant guide on my fulfilling journey through life in the silence.
God is the illuminating presence. I'm assured of right guidance on this path. I am being led in ways that bring forth the highest good. And I hold this truth in my heart right now. And we go into the silence once more. With this affirmation, I hold a vision of peace and harmony for the world. I hold a vision of peace and harmony for the world in the silence. I live in a world that is awakening and has awakened to the activity of God. I envision each person being touched by this awareness, by experiencing the oneness that we share as spiritual beings. Peace and harmony are drawn together in a bond of loving kindness and I open my heart to all, to all. And now we will go into a few moments of metta bhavana or loving kindness meditation words. On the Buddhist tradition, we can practice this any time. And so now we focus on self. We will then move to someone we love, and then we will extend that love to all living things. So take these words into your heart. Allow your soul to feel every vibration of these words. May I be filled with loving kindness. May I be well. May I be peaceful and at ease. May I be happy. And now we move to someone we love. May you be filled with loving kindness. May you be well. May you be peaceful and at ease. May you be happy. And we now extend this to all living beings, all living things. May we be filled with loving kindness. May we be well. May we be peaceful and at ease. And may we be happy. Beloved friends, there is encouragement in unity. There is commitment in unity. There is love in unity. 
There is joy in unity. There is understanding in unity. There is progress in unity. There is strength in unity and there is beauty in unity. So on this day and all the other days to come, we sit in this beautiful body in a state of being in agreement and wholeness that is unity. And now we prepare to return to the activities of our day. Let us now take a deep, deep breath and bring our time of prayer to a close. With a grateful heart, we go forth from this sacred time, empowered to be and do the work of spirit. And here we are, here we are, gathered today in the beauty and the splendor of being together. And today, the great laws of the mind, the great laws of the mind, And there is a beautiful thought to begin with as we welcome in this time together. And they come in the form of lyrics from a song. When will I ever learn to live in God? When will I ever learn? She gives me everything I need and more. When will I ever learn? It was brought to my attention that everything was made in God. Down through the centuries of great writings and paintings, everything lives in God. Seen through architecture of great cathedrals, down through the history of time, is and was in the beginning, and evermore shall be. When will I ever learn? to live in God. Well, this wonderful man, Van Morrison, the great musician that we all know, wrote the lyrics to this song as a reminder that it applies to us right now. And in this very important moment, let us live in God. Let us allow the great laws, the great law of the mind to be our focus to today. You see, there is only one law that flows into all the other laws. And here it is. And that is there is only one presence and one power active in the universe and in my life. God, the good, omnipotent everywhere, moving, breathing, expanding in the largest circle you could imagine forever and always, no matter what. So today is the day. Today is the day that we have the ability to move from our third dimensional human experience to reminding ourselves of the fourth dimensional living and being as we wake up our consciousness, our conscious mind, we begin to experience and perceive life in new and expanded ways. In God, as God, 
and through our imagination. Our song earlier stated that the wonder of the world came from imagination, came from imagination. And one of the greatest teachers of this, one of our incredible, incredible, monumental Christ consciousness came through Jesus because he saw things right. And not only did he see things right, but he saw that for everyone else. We are the great spiritual wisdom teachers. And as you see these photos of all wisdom teachers throughout the ages, you yourself are this great mind. You can allow the great mind of God to work through you. So the unity movement and the unity of your own soul exists to awaken the spiritual magnificence that's in you. We focus here on common threads of religion and spiritual practices rather than any differences. We long always for the true recognition of the spirit within us. And here in unity, we don't teach that we have all the answers, but rather it is being revealed and shown to you so that you can feel that as your own perfect presence. And it is in our creative waking hours, these seconds, these moments, that grow the consciousness further. Antony D'Amelio is one of the great theologians of our time, and he says it very clearly, be awake. In his book, The Way of Love, he says, everywhere in the world, people are in search of love but few understand what love really is and how it arises in the human heart. The truth, love springs from awareness and the first act of love is to see yourself, to see this or that person as it truly is. And so what that requires is and involves is the discipline of dropping your own desire, your own prejudices, your own past memories, your own past projections, and instead choose a more selective way of looking and moving to that framework of God is love. And this vibration becomes the lens that we begin to view our world and to develop our mind and heart anew. Our imagination is and has the ability to conceptualize and envision a different future. And here in God's grace, we see love on every face. We hold hands together. We greet each other in the eyes. We no longer ever need to be disguised. We let go and we don't hold on anymore. Changing times, new and old, moving forward, brave and bold. We welcome this place of love and light. One presence, one power, welcoming to this place of loving life. We become the sculptor of our own mind. We use our imagination as the sculptor. We picture, we envision, and we think the way that some of the great artists have thought, like Michelangelo, who took a large piece of marble and with skill and patience chips away at the shapeless mass until it forms beauty and meaning. A sculptor is a transformer. And they take the intangible dream, the vision, the idea, and they transform it into something substantial, tangible, that can be seen. And that's you. Every one of you here today. In your mind is the creative power that works the same way as that human sculptor. It is your mind 
and it is the creative power which can lay hold of the idea, dream, draw inspiration, and transform everything so that it can be seen, felt, and appreciated. Imagination derives the power from one of the laws of life and can become the field of your soul. The field of your soul. I'd like to ask you a few questions. What you can see, you can be. Do you believe that? We can then extend that law and say, what you can see, you can do. And we extend that further to say, what you can see, you can have. What you see, you can be. We're not just talking about things that you see in the physical eye, but rather instead the things that we see in the mind's eye, in the imagination. And imagination is the seeing faculty of the mind, and it is the power to see beyond any condition, any condition that you are now in. It sees the condition of how it would like to be, regardless of present circumstances. We can use this imagination so creatively, we can transform our health, our environment, our business, our relationships, we see clearly through our imagination and directly from the lens of God mind. We begin as we do this to see our character, our habits, our home atmosphere, our relationships, our health. We can regularly picture this coming into manifesting into the life that we would like to have. We magnify our third dimension human condition into our fourth dimension awareness of living from the mind of God, always. So right now, let us take this great imagination affirmation into our heart and let's say it together. I imagine good unfolding in every area of my life again i imagine good unfolding in every area of my life in your life today there is a creativity call for new ideas new methods new possibilities and new reconciliation in truth, in beauty, and in love. Our mental and emotional outlook can change our world for the better, for everyone and everything, everyone and everything. We have been created to be healthy, happy, harmonious, and free. And right now, in your home, in your own physical home, ask yourself, do I need a new spirit of love and harmony? Can I see it that way? Can I see the laughing and the working together and the playing together and the joyous cooperation in a spirit of love? Put this sculptor of your mind to work and transform. And if you are in need of improved health, I want us now to close our eyes for just a couple seconds here. And I want you to imagine seeing yourself active, strong, vital, doing things that you would like to do and doing them easily and effortlessly. And this exercise you can do on a regular basis to just close your eyes in a moment and see it, feel it, believe it, and begin the process of manifesting it. You know, yesterday, I, uh, I had to pick something up at the store. And I had to pay for it. 
And the cashier told me, strip down, facing me. Well, by the time I realized they meant the debit card, it was already too late. Ha ha. Now, I don't want you visualizing that, but it is a funny thought, don't you think? As the master sculptor of your life, you are creating the masterpiece now. You are stimulating the creative mind now. In your waking hours, your creative imaginative mind helps you to solve simple and complex problems. And when we sleep, our conscious mind is inactive, but our creative mind has the perfect opportunity to work for us if we invite it in if we invite it in. And thought is the sculptor who can create the person that you would like to be. The person that you would like to be. You know, we're all very aware that uh, it is in our waking hours that we have the greatest need for the action of the creative mind. And every hour that we are awake, we have a multitude of problems, decisions, desires, personalities, conditions, and they stream past us like uh, our conscious mind, a nonstop movie. And you know what it's like when you're watching a movie. It's interesting, it's exciting, you become involved in the story, and with ever-changing moods, you can experience different mental, emotional, and physical reactions. Well, we will all experience it with the lens in which we like to view it. And so consider this in your day and in the coming days. What is the thought pattern that follows you? And what kind of movie are you wanting to create in your own life? Shakespeare said that there is nothing good or bad, but thinking makes it so. So right now, let's commit together that in your conscious waking hours, begin to view life with this expanded fourth dimension, elevated thinking, feeling, and doing. Let's every day take a deep dive into the everyday technique of observing, responding, from this elevated, extraordinary dimension of the divine by your side. Wherever you go, it goes with you. And this will also encourage the conversation with your own soul. Life is to us as we see it through the lens of our own unique state of consciousness. And your future is not your past lens. So be awake and develop these skills. I want to introduce you to a wonderful human being. His name is Riley Ng. And he is now a local Vancouver resident for the past 16 years and a very seasoned entertainer. He has worked closely with the industry's best and brightest artists. And Riley was formerly with The Temptations, Smokey Robinson, Barry White, to name a few. He was in the music world of Motown Records. And he was here in 2010 at the PE performing with The Temptations. And the day before the concert, he decided he wanted to go have a ride on the roller coaster. And while he was on that roller coaster, he did not realize that when you are a certain height, you are not really supposed to go on certain roller coasters. He did not know that. He was not aware. He did not visualize any of that. But what happened was on the roller coaster ride, his neck snapped back and he became paralyzed in a moment. And so this has not stopped him. His determination to beat all the odds, he has courageously moved on and he is getting well every day and helps others through his faith and belief. 
born in the southern state of Alabama and having a long and fruitful career still today. Well, a couple years after that accident, I met a man in the urban fair downtown. I was sitting having a coffee and a bit of lunch and there was this beautiful melodic aroma sound coming at me. And I looked over and this booming voice was singing. He had and was doing an impromptu concert in the urban fair. And there he was singing like an angel. At least that's what I felt. And so when he went on his break, I went up and I spoke to him and I said, Riley, I didn't really know what his name was, but I said, I, 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 I just, I want to say thank you. And we had the most precious conversation. And then he said to me, would you like me to sing a song for you? And I said, yes. And in all my imagination, in all of my life, I actually had it on my imagination list. I wanted one of the temptations to sing me, my girl. Well, guess what? I sat back in my chair and I allowed myself to be open to the experience I was about to receive. And there, Riley sang to me, my girl, you got sunshine on a cloudy day. I will never forget it. I will never forget it. Your power of imagination creates things that you never ever thought that you could have. So he did suffer a tragic accident that left him paralyzed, but he told himself that he would walk again and his strong faith and conviction to overcome obstacles allows him to beat these odds. And so he wrote a mantra, a belief system for his life. And I would like to just say these few words now because they have meaning. They have meaning because they're his mantra, but it could be anybody's mantra. Here it goes, Riley's mantra. I've been blessed to get through and over all the circumstances placed in my life. Kept my faith in God as nothing can be done without him. My foundation, my faith in God, and my determination is my work ethic. You can be a complete winner, even if you are a beginner. If you think you can, you can. Just change your C thoughts to an A thought and go make the big play. You can change your great nation. You can redirect inflation. If you think you can, you can. There is no more time to lose but plenty of time to win. If you think you can, you can. And all of you today can, with the power of this imaginative force, change your thoughts, change your thoughts. So my offering to you today as a technique is to begin to develop a mantra for your own life a thought pattern that you see, feel, and say repetitively. I know a woman and her mantra every day was this, never forgive and never forget. Well, I tell you, if your mantra is never forgive and never forget, that is not something that I would wanna wake up to personally. I know that Riley, did not wake up to that every day. So begin the new conversation with yourself, with your own creative mind to believe and to manifest what it is that you want in your life right now. I developed a mission statement a few years ago and I'm just gonna say it because maybe it'll give you some inspiration to to use some words and find some, some things that, uh, that are, are calling to you as part of what your purpose and meaning here is. And here it goes. I, Janet Law, am a playful, loving woman who empowers myself and others to be of creative service in the world. 
And I can't tell you how many times I say that in a day and how it brings forth a very different experience for me. And so I'm going to end today with a very wonderful story that is introducing a beautiful man who is Elder Jerry Ullman. Now, Jerry Ullman, Gary Ullman, sometimes people refer to him as that. A few years ago, when the Dalai Lama was visiting in Canada, Indigenous leader Gary Ullman was asked to connect and share wisdom of Indigenous people, to tell the story, to offer a song, to offer a prayer, to offer and to invite in love. And this greeting and honor did not come with some trepidation by Gary Ullman. In fact, he spoke about it at a conference that I attended. And he said that when he was asked to do this, there was a whole part of himself that went into a very dark place. And he thought, what could I ever say to the Dalai Lama? What could I ever express and share? It would not be as good. And, and he went into this mindset and then he stopped and he remembered the great creator. He remembered the great creator and he met his friend, his new friend, the Dalai Lama. And this profound experience happened where they both met each other with loving eyes, with loving hearts. And he began to imbue wisdom to the Dalai Lama. And the Dalai Lama fully embraced fully took in to his own beautiful body. And there was an exchange and there was a transformation. They became trusted friends. And the beauty of it all was that Gary realized that It was the transferring of wisdom to each other that mattered. That the love between others is what mattered. And Jerry, Gary, has continued to be an expression of that here in his world. This profound experience allowed people, these two people, to see through God's eyes to elevate the human experience. And they were both elevated as global citizens, as global citizens. And so let us do that for ourselves today. Let this global family unite in spirit and unite in the spirit of harmony. Personalize your view of self See this through the mind of God instead of others doing it for you. The one law, you are immersed in this mind of God always. And all the other laws follow suit. God is love. Be awake. Let the great law of the mind be with you now. And as Mark Stanton Walsh said earlier, Build your field of dreams, because as a reminder, my friends, today, it was brought to our attention that everything was made in God. Down through the centuries of great writings and paintings, everything lives in God. Seen through architecture of great cathedrals, down through the history of time, is and was in the beginning and ever shall ever evermore shall ever be we have learned we know that we live in god and now i would like to 
thank you for your deep listening and to introduce our dear and beloved Edith Wallace to chime us out in a beautiful song to end our time together here. Thank you, Edith. Thank you. Um, I heard you reading your, I, I, I almost chickened out, not, but I'm going to read it anyway. I have this up in my kitchen. It's my words for my little thingy. Um, the purpose of my life is to be joyous with myself, in myself, and my higher power, and feel the happiness that results while inspiring others to feel the same. Oh. So this song is called Heart.
Wow, that was amazing, Edith. Thank you so much for your heartwarming and delightful songs. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And to you, Janet, thank you so, so much for your inspirational and enlightening message. We all need to take that to heart and act on it for sure.